In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we come together to reflect on the powerful role of prayer in protecting and guiding our families. In a world full of uncertainties and spiritual battles, we are called to place our trust in God's providence, seeking his divine protection over our homes and loved ones. The family is the cornerstone of society, and as the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us, the family is the original cell of social life. CCC 2207. It is within the family that children learn faith, values, and love. But this sacred bond also requires spiritual protection, and we turn to God through prayer to safeguard and guide our families, trusting that He is our refuge and strength. The family is a gift from God, created to be a community of love and faith. As we read in the book of Genesis, God established the family when he created Adam and Eve, calling them to be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 1.28 The Catechism further reminds us that the family is the community in which, from childhood, one can learn moral values, begin to honour God and make good use of freedom. CCC 2207 in this sacred community, parents are entrusted with the role of raising their children in the love of Christ, guiding them on the path of holiness. Yet the family faces many challenges, both physical and spiritual. Today, we are often confronted with struggles that can disrupt this harmony. Sickness, conflict, and the ever-present influence of sin in the world. In these moments of difficulty, prayer is our strongest weapon. Through prayer, we invite God to dwell within our homes and families, asking for his divine protection, guidance, and strength. Let us now turn to scripture for words of comfort. The Bible is filled with promises of God's protection. In Psalm 91, we hear these powerful words of assurance. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalm 91, 1-2 When we pray for our families, we are entrusting them to the care of Almighty God, who is always faithful. Similarly, in Proverbs 3, 5-6, we are reminded, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Let us pray for the protection of our families, asking God to guide them and keep them safe from all harm. We begin with a prayer to the Holy Family asking for their intercession as we seek to model our families after their example of love, obedience, and trust in God. O Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I commend my family to your protection. Shield us from all harm and guide us in your ways of holiness. Help us to live as you did, in peace and unity. May our family be a sign of God's love in the world. Amen. As the Catechism tells us, the Holy Family is the model for all Christian families, reminding us that our homes are places where charity, forgiveness, and self-giving love should reign. CCC 2205 We now turn to a powerful prayer for family protection, written by St. John Paul II, who had a deep devotion to the family. He recognized the spiritual attacks families face and the need for God's protection. Lord Jesus Christ, protect our families from all dangers and evils. 
Watch over our homes and keep us united in your love. Strengthen our faith and guide us in all things, so that, by following your example, we may always seek the good of each other and grow in holiness together. Amen. The family is a domestic church, as the Catechism states, CCC 2204. And through prayer, we invite Christ to dwell at the heart of our homes, guarding them from harm. In times of spiritual danger, we call upon St. Michael the Archangel to defend our families against evil. St. Michael is known as the Great Protector, and through his intercession, we ask for deliverance from the snares of the enemy. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. The Catechism reminds us that the whole of man's history has been the story of dark combat with the powers of evil. CCC 409. Through the intercession of Saint Michael, we place our families under the protection of God's heavenly armies. Finally, we consecrate our families to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, asking Him to guide our hearts and minds as we seek His love and protection. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, we consecrate our family to You. Protect and guide us. Keep us close to Your heart and united in love. May our home be a place of peace and faith where you are always honoured. Amen. The Sacred Heart of Jesus symbolises God's infinite love for humanity. The Catechism reminds us that God loved us first, and it is in His love that we find the strength to love one another. CCC 2196 Through these prayers, we entrust our families to the care of Almighty God. As the Catechism teaches, prayer restores man to God's likeness and enables him to share in the power of God's love. CCC 2572 May these prayers for protection and guidance strengthen your family and bring peace to your home. Let us now close in prayer invoking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph for our families. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.